what is going on welcome back to the channel another day another video so, uh, so somebody asked they said hey man you mentioned the bullwhip effect the other day um and we we're having kind of a co economist conversation in one of the videos and um what happens is right before a recession oh let me tell you time out so why am i telling you this well this is a sign that you're about to hit a recession this is a sign that the recession is months away it is like right on your doorstep if not already happening literally already happening like a lot of economists would say when you see the bullwhip the 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 the, the economy is already in recession just the the reporting hasn't caught up okay so that's what i'm telling you okay what happens is uh people the market gets scared whether it's housing stocks dot com this time it's general consumer of all of america okay um and what happens is there's a scare in the market okay and so subliminally, somewhat under the radar, not always, but somewhat, people start going to the market and to the store, grocery store, whatever, doesn't matter, Walmart, to Lowe's, or wherever they go. And they're buying a couple more of what they need. So, which is fine, right? And you always hear people saying, you know, get, get a couple more, get what you need, don't hoard, blah, blah, blah. So people go out and like buy all this stuff. And then what happens though, is because the manufacturers have not realized that we're in recession and that these upticks uh, are, 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 are people recession proofing themselves, right? So, I mean, think about it. If you need one roll of toilet paper or one bo a box of toilet paper, a bag of toilet paper, and you buy like three, the, the algorithms that go through the the supply chain from distributors wholesalers they start going dude manufacturer i need more man my next order i need three times the amount or i need uh, they might not do 300 they might do 150 180 percent 200 percent of the order so what what happens is this puts a strain on the manufacturer because now all of a sudden the manufacturer has to ramp up use a bunch of materials Okay, so a bunch more materials they have to grab out of the market, out of the you know other countries wherever they're getting it, and they have to fulfill these orders. Okay, so as people are over here buying a little bit more, okay, all the algorithms all the way through are telling the guy way at the other end of the supply chain, the the, the guy who's starting it, you know, dude, I need a lot more stuff, so he, you know, I better ramp up. So then what happens is they do a 300% or 200% order, send that stuff down the supply chain. Well, by the time that stuff hits the market, you think this guy is still buying 300%? No. In fact, the bullwhip is he might not be buying anything. That's the bullwhip, okay? So let me tell you, because there's a unique bullwhip effect happening right now that's different in this based on shortages, okay? So if you think about this, okay, when all that inventory comes down, well, Mr. and Mrs. Customer, they're going. I mean, it, it, this is why the economy has hit a shock and all this stuff and you know, Walmart, tar Target, everybody has reported way, they're way down in sales, uh, which is shock in the stock market and all this stuff. The reason is because of the bullwhip. Okay. Now, what you noticed, if you look into the reporting and, and, and the, uh, the actual um, reports that are put out, inventories are high. So this is the thing, guys. Okay. There's been all these guys and, you know, Glenn Beck to all the way to, you know, anyone on, on YouTube talking about there's not going to be anything in the stores. There's not going to be anything in the stores. The store shelves are going to be empty. People go to the store and they're like, there's a lot of stuff here. <laughs> okay. I mean, for the most part, okay. Most people have not been affected by quote shortages in the grocery store or in any general convenience store, like a Walmart. Okay. Or target or wherever you shop. So here's the thing. Inventory is now high because people were have been stocking up a little bit but now that the market's slowing and the and people are pumping their brakes well, wait a minute dude that inflation wait a minute man maybe i want to you know 
I want to stop, um, you know, buying the kids cookies, or maybe, you know, I want to hold off on that deck project, or so people are pumping the brakes going, whoa, wait a minute, okay, so that money's not getting out into the economy, all this inventory is not being bought up. So what happens now is you this is where this is why and where you will start seeing crazy sales. And this is what happened in 2008. It happened in the dot-com area. I was, I was, we were starting a, a company that we eventually IPO'd in Silicon Valley. I know all about it where like you start seeing people go, dude, the market, people are tripping, man. Like the market's great. Did you see that two for one on chips? Did you see that two for one or the 50% off on whatever on milk or whatever you see what i'm saying so people falsely think the market is doing great because prices are are, are like the, the, and here's here's what's going to happen in this one okay there is some things that are short for sure there's some some things in every grocery store that are short now okay but most are not okay well then on the flip side of that there are some things that there's plenty of, like a lot and so they're blowing out stuff like you know anything from just like there's more and more sales happening right now okay by the way if you think this is like you know oh you know he's he's just you know this is just like he went to his walmart no th there's like uh, a lot of economic reporting that goes on i'd listen to some of the youtube ec ec uh, economists like real economists people who are like on wall street and stuff like that and so what they were saying was they couldn't figure out why buying is low, but inventories are high. The first thing I thought of, this is like, this is like economics 201. It's not really 101, but it's kind of like 201. We're like, this is that old theory they call the bullwhip effect. We're like, the, the inventories are up because that rush, all the algorithms said, dude, send me more gear, send me more stuff, send me more food, send me more donuts, send me more milk, whatever. And now all of a sudden that stuff got out there in the market and people are like, dude, wait a minute. I don't know if I want to buy anything right now. I'm trying to keep my grocery bill that was $180 now down, down to $150 or now down to $130 or whatever. And so, um, so then those sales start happening or, or prices can, can stay stay uh level for a little while right now and people are going dude let's start buying so people start buying again see this is where it whips on you is people start buying people start going dude this is crazy like like i just bought these really sick mora knives the other day and i did a video on it they were less than seven dollars I, I like i literally couldn't believe that because there was no knife in the store under seven dollars but yet I got the best quality knife in the store <laughs> that should have been like a $50 knife or something. I don't know. And it was insane. I was like, dude, this is $6 and 94 cents. And I showed a picture of the, of the receipt. So I bought two of them. Yeah. I bought, I mean, there's the only two they had, by the way. So I would have bought 10 of them, fit 10 of them. Cause I could have eBayed off the rest. Um, so when I saw that, I was like, this is such a bullwhip effect right now. Like somebody has ordered all these damn knives and now the, nobody wants to buy a freaking knife. Cause every, everyone in Texas freaking has a damn knife. So no one wants to buy a knife. These knives are sitting here and they're being blown out for probably less than the cost that it cost them to buy this thing from the, from the manufacturer, from the distributor, wherever they're getting it. And so it's crazy. Like that is just, that's nuts. I was seeing that. Okay. Now here's the, here's the, here's the, uh, here's the other thing that the twist on it. Okay. Is now that there are shortages around the world. Okay. The, the OEMs, the manufacturers, the original manufacturers, they have now sent down the pipe, all this inventory. So they used up all their goods, all their supplies, if they're making staplers or, or pencils or whatever, like all the, rubber for the for the erasers and wood like they're using everything they can use to get that that big order through well now you think they're gonna get there i mean now they're actually having a problem they're reporting all, all around having food problems shortage on this shortage on that uh the cost of everything is up so so they're having to buy less the same amount of money is, is buying them less so <clears throat> so the fact that they're now going through a supply chain shortage at the tip of the spear where, where, where it starts, where the products and the manufacturing starts and everyone out here is buying, thinking things are all good. That right there is a serious recipe for 
disaster. So anyway, guys, <clears throat> that's what I think. Let me know what you, what you think or um, what you're experiencing out there in the market. It's an interesting topic. And this, like I said, there may be a war. There may be um, terrorist attacks in America. There may be power outages. There may be rolling power outages. All those things to me are like 20% maybes. Are we going to have a serious, serious economic issue? I'm leaning 80%. Hell yeah, we are. And that is why you need to be serious about prepping and you need to be training your mind every single day. When you're on the toilet, when you're driving, when you're waking up and brushing your teeth, you should be listening to videos like this because you need, I'm telling you guys, you need to be educating yourself on how to think, how to think. You need to think different. This is not the time to like, you know, listen to the latest Drake song out and let's see if I can learn the words in three days. That ain't going to help you. You know what I'm saying? When the power goes out, you singing Drake ain't going to help you. So anyway, guys, talk to you soon. Be here every, every single day. Check the news feed, uh, the video feed, and I'll be here every single day. Talk soon.